you want to you know, bring warmth to your home or pops of color, area rugs are a great way to do it. I'm here with our design expert, Lenore Gonzalez of Decor and You. But now that you've come to your brand new location here and got your new digs, you're kind of rebranding. So you're yeah. kind of going away from Decor and You to DNY Design Group. Well, the reason for doing that, as you know, we do a lot now. We do kitchens and baths. So we added that last year in addition to our full design. And then we have window treatments. So we figured like Decor and You sort of like puts us in like just the decorating field. Mm -hmm. So now it's DNY Design Group. So we do everything inside your home. Okay, these area rugs, so many options out there. Right, yeah. and I think you know this best because when we decorated your house, you went to Turkey, bought your area rug. Yes. Um, I think that was the focal point and our design inspiration. We designed around that. Yeah, you did everything you around my rug. I Since, love it. You know, sometimes you have great wood floors or unique tile floors, but sometimes the room just begs for an area rug. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to absorb sound, to add texture, pattern, and color on the floor, and it just anchors the space and defines the spaces. Still. It can be like a piece of artwork on mm -hmm. your floor, so it adds that texture and color that your space needs. Yeah. So in addition to just making sure that you have the right shape, you also have to make sure that you have the right size. So there's custom sizes. If you just go to the store, you probably have the standard size from 4x6, four, 5x6, four 8x10, mm -hmm. eight eight or 9x12. Yeah. And then a runner here or there. <laughs> yeah, so, but if you want custom, then you can customize the size. So it's important to have the right size and shape. Don't go shopping without measuring because the worst is like you bring home something and it doesn't fit in your space. Yeah, it's a big bummer to have right. that. Um, let's talk about all the different textures and really right. the, the depths too. I mean, look how deep this is. Yes, this is that's what you call the pile and this is two different. This is like a cut pile and this is a loop pile. So we always like say, say like, you know, if you have pets, this probably won't work because the nails of your pet Because they might, go. Yes, it might get <laughs> caught and then it would like lift the loop up. Mm -hmm. So you probably would stay with this, um, with the cut pile. So this is a wool rug. Wool rugs are very du durable. They're very soft and luxurious. Um, but so they'll last a good long time. They last a good time and they're great for high traffic areas. What do you think of the, the fiber kind of rug? Yeah, this is like the jute rug that has become very popular. So this is your natural area rugs. They come in, they're great because they're very durable again, so high traffic areas. Um, they're usually a neutral color, so. Yeah, I've got a couple of runners that are the jute. And they are, they're, they're, they're super very, great. Yes, yeah. and then we well, usually, this is the perfect one that you could also layer. So sometimes we've seen people who have this simple jute area rug and they'll layer it with a fun area rug on top. So don't be afraid to layer and add Oh, to that see, thing. who knew? She teaches me so many things. Yeah. Okay, what about this? This is very edgy. That's nylon and nothing beats the Love durability that. of nylon. Um, and it's great, again, nylon because it's durable, it's low maintenance, it's good for high traffic areas. It has a lot of different patterns and colors that are available in the market. So you have those, you know, like this is the fun one and this is a more traditional colored one. Okay, so yeah, you can get a little more traditional with the, the nylon. Right. But like a rug like that, it's, I mean, it's almost a little work of art and it's certainly a pop of color. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's just like, I guess, you know, again, make sure that it fits your space. If you have pets or if you have kids, you know, it may not be as good because then their Lego pieces might just be <laughs> could, under there. You could hide a bunch of little army men in there right. for sure, right? This one is an indoor-outdoor area rug. Okay. So this is great. Don't forget really? your outdoors. I know so in Colorado. Like the we, covered patios yeah. and things? We okay. like to spend our time outdoors. It's great to like add color and texture to your patio and anchor your patio furniture. People, although this is an outdoor rug, they tend to use this indoors as well because it's very durable, easy to clean. I you really like actually, that design too. Yeah, you could actually just get your water hose and clean it. So they use it for entryways and, you know, like the um, kitchen area. Yes. Perfect for dachshund owners. Right. <laughs> now this one here is what we call the over-dyed or distressed um, area rugs. And this just gives you, um, it's still soft, mm -hmm. great for moderate traffic areas, but it gives you that vintage feel. So if you want something like that, if that's the look that you're looking for, this is perfect. And you get that distressed um, feel or look mm -hmm. from the way the area rugs were washed sure while classic. they're being processed. Yeah. 
And then we also have the carpet squares. Um, these are getting very popular. It's used in commercial and residential areas. It's fun because then you could just like stick or click these pieces together and create your own pattern or create your color palette. I would think that's super popular with the do-it-yourselfers. Yes, and it's nice because then if you ruin one section, you don't have to re replace the whole yeah. area rug. You could just pop this section out and replace it with another square. So when it comes to getting an area rug, what is your best tip for people? Well, we always say don't forget the pad. Mm -hmm. um, people tend to forget that. Uh, the pad just, you know, like it protects your floors, but it also makes your area rug last longer. And we also get a lot of questions about how big of a dining room area rug should I purchase? I know, yeah. Um, so a good tip is like you have to add 24 to, six to 30 inches from the, all the edges of the, the table. edge of the table because you, you got to pull the chair out. Yeah, you want to make sure that your chair is all the legs are on the area rug. You don't want half off and half on. Right, because then when you sit down and you try to pull yourself back right. up, it gets caught on right. the edge. I've, I've made that mistake. <laughs> so those are our tips. I love it. All right, and so if you want to check out more design tips, you have a new website too yes. now. It's dy-designgroup.com. dy-designgroup.com. Thanks, Lenore. And D and Y Design Group wants to show you what they can do for your home. Right now, you can get $150 off any design service or product with a $500 purchase. So call D and Y Design Group to schedule your design consultation right now. The number is 303-346-2593. You can also get free design guides and great tips on their website. It is dy-designgroup.com. You can also follow them on Facebook for all kinds of wonderful ideas. Well, still to come on Colorado's.